Good evening, Plender. Lieutenant Obvious reporting. Welcome to Swarm Mega Maker. So, nothing really for me to say this time, except for... Actually, I probably should mention that uh, if I sound a little bit congested, I do have a cold right now. I'm getting over it at the time being, but... I might be, like, kind of coughing inside a little bit congested a little bit through this. Although I'm going to try to stay hydrated throughout the whole moody, moody video. Whatever this, whatever this thing is. But anyway, uh, that's all I really have to say. It's enough filler. Let's get to the actual action. We got Drilling Mountain by Antos the Hedgehog featuring Napalm Man at the end. Let's take a look. Can't wait. Let's get a swig of coffee before I go. <clears throat> Wait a minute, Napalm Man doesn't... Napalm Man doesn't live in Antarctica. Although I'll take a really... Really easy E-Tank. Sure, why not? Won't say no to that. I kind of was able to... Oh! I thought I, ha I thought I had to go down. So, where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go down here? No. Was it just me, or did the did that second screen not scroll to the right? Okay, let's see what's let's see what's up here. <clears throat> Where am I supposed to go? Oh, he's supposed to go to the right. Okay. Well, the terrain completely changed. All oh, the ice physics are gone. Guess you have to go down now. Whoa. Okay, a force beam is just shot out somewhere. But okay, free M tank as well. Uh, not really sure where that. I can swear I heard a force beam out there. I want to get rid of this sniper Joe. Okay, so I have some weapons here. Charge kick, rolling cutter, top spin. I wish I have a use for these. Whoa! Actually, I think I could use the charge kick to get over this gap right here. Whoa! Um, should I show off? Okay. Okay, yeah, that was a little bit uncalled for. I was showboating a bit using the uh, charge kick. Okay, let's get serious again now. Couple design issues I see with this level. I'm not gonna get too picky hating on hating on the designer, but like, okay, those. Okay, first off, that mystery force beam, which I definitely heard. It is a little bit bizarre. Okay. I'm gonna just, like, skip you. Use a charge kick to force me to get myself over these pits. Although, I'm gonna want- I'm gonna want to take you out first. Oh, come on. Oh, I think I just- I think I just scrolled him off screen, so I reset him back to full health. And I think I might have just done it again. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Tried hard not to do it again. Okay. I'll take the checkpoint. Oh, so there are the force beams. Oh, crap. Crap. I was too enthralled by the force beams above me that I did not notice the ones below me. Woo! Okay, that... Almost contacted a... Almost contacted that spike there. You know what? Since there's so many... They're giving away E-Tanks like candy. I may as well use one right there. To fill me up. And, oh, and you know what? I I could have just used the... Um, I could have just used that one up there to get to get full health anyway. But okay, looks like we're already at Napalm Man. Although the, uh, the Yoku blocks kind of make this a little bit interesting. Seems like he's weak to Mega Missile. Oh, that's not really fair. <laughs> not quite sure if the creator actually intended this. But Yoko Blocks actually make it easier for me. Um, let, me try and, let me try other weapons, too. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Top spin, maybe. Okay, I gotta get myself. I gotta make sure I don't get killed. But I'll use the M-Tank just to bring my Magnet Missiles back to full health and take him out. Now, how in the world am I going to get all the way up to the top there to get those goodies? That would be really hard to do. 
when you're when you're in the middle of facing someone like Napalm Man who just jumps around like a total spaz that he is, as Romithu would say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Okay, so a couple design issues. I guess like the main one would be on that second screen when I thought you had to go down, but you had to go right. I don't know if that was intended or not, but that's kind of a dick move. Other than that, you know, fairly decent level. Not too hard, though, so pretty good one to start on. Now I'm hoping that we can load a second level. No, we can't. Yes, we can. The Beam Tower by Agastia. Okay, it's getting pretty good ratings. Plus 5 out of 13 plays. Not bad, so let's check it out. It looks like there's no boss here, so it'll just be some platforming goodness. Or is this the boss? Okay, so you can't slide, and you only have the Mega Buster. Okay, good to know. Uh, what's this? Uh, can I... Can I get up somehow? Oh, jeez, seriously? Okay, that was kind of a dick move right there. But... Looks like that's what this level's all about. Uh, gonna need blocks I can take? Okay. Okay, so I guess you gotta... You gotta solve the... Oh, no way. Seriously. You gotta solve the Yoku puzzles before you die, and... That one just kind of traps you. Okay, that third one was kind of a dick move, because there's no way you're gonna be able to get it. Before... Uh, before you've actually played the level. Okay, so the first one's actually pretty easy. Second one, I guess, is climb ladder all the way to the top. You're gonna have to take a few hits. But if you get on those first two blocks, you're fine. Now, this one here, you have to be quick on your toes. And then jump at the right time. Okay. So there we go. Checkpoint. Uh, I think I just need one of these. Let's keep going. Looks like we got some more puzzles. Oh, jeez. Oh, you can't slide, so you have to... You have to shoot, a uh, Two blocks full of bricks. Wait a minute, if you can't slide, how the hell you must... How you... Oh, there's more Yoku blocks. Okay, interesting. This one here, you pretty much just have to... Just have to mash the buttons. You're gonna take a couple hits. This one here, I guess you just have to... Stay patient. Looks like your timing has to be pretty well on the mark. Okay. That room could have been a little bit harder if they had... Whoa. Oh, okay. I see what's going on in that one. That one might be a little bit hard to sight read, but... Uh, I'll ha it happened so fast, I kind of didn't really see it that much, but I'll see during the next go. If I can just make it through on the next try. Okay. Go, go, go. Nice. Alright, so... I'm just gonna sit here and watch. Okay, so this goes as a pattern here. Okay, not so bad. Although... Yeah, I had a, I had a feeling this would not be over yet. Okay, just gotta study the pattern then. So it seems like every second one you can move down. Okay. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Maybe every third, I guess. Okay. Oh, now you have to be fast. Jump off quick. Well, there would be an exit if I can get it. Oh, jeez. Hurry. Get up, get up, get up. Okay, gotta keep climbing. Can't miss a jump. Oh, okay, it was close. The fact that you can't can't slide in this level, you gotta be really precise with your jumping. So you... It's pretty unforgiving if you don't... Um, sorry. It's pretty unforgiving with your left-right movement, so you have to be really precise. Whoa, ah, uh, okay, jumped the wrong way. I was supposed to jump left, then right.
All right, let's see if I can get this. Okay, this first segment is not so bad. Especially, ooh, okay. I kind of cut it a little bit close there, but this one, you have to be really precise. Whoa. Oh, okay, it fell behind. Oh man, you still have a lot of distance left to go. All right, let's keep going. I wonder for the hell of it if there's a way to actually hit that part. Oh, I screwed up the jump. What I was gonna say is I wonder if there's a way to actually hit that power ball, or that party ball, whatever it is. That purple thing up there, but probably not. So I just had to take a swig of liquid there. All right, onward. Okay, once again, that segment, not all that bad. This one here, okay, you gotta be really... Okay. That one there, it's a little bit more forgiving, but I kind of screwed up that second to last jump, and then I lost a step, and I wasn't able to keep up. Although that one there, okay, that segment towards the end, it looks like this one... You have to be pixel perfect. Yeah, and there was a little bit late. <clears throat> okay, this is actually a pretty good challenge. And I guess it makes sense. This level's called the Beam Tower, so... You're climbing up a tower full of force beams, so... Pretty good concept for this level. I like it. It's not like ridiculous difficulty, so... I think I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Okay. Oh! Man, you have to be fast. I wonder if there's a way that you can skip that... Skip that jump, but no, I think it's too high. I think that's... There's that jump where you have to go left and then right. Although, I don't think there's a way to shortcut that. You have to pretty much... Like, switch directions. But you lose so much time. Ugh. Okay, that's pretty tough. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty much able to cruise through this section. I guess I'm glad the checkpoint is where it is where it is because you don't have to re redo a whole bunch of come up. Oh man, I ha almost had it. Although god, I don't I don't know if I would have been able to make it that extra distance. I just still wasn't fast enough. God, how perfect you have to be. Man, not being able to slide really hurts you here. Okay. Oh, I... So I tried to jump lower, so I tapped the A button instead of uh, pushing it down outright, and I just uh, didn't have enough height to make that. Okay. Let's give this another shot. Oh, no, I, I went too far to the left. Still, though, I don't know if I'm... Okay, those last two beams on the top there. I don't think I had enough distance. Man. Is there something... Am I missing something here? Can I, like... Can you somehow, like shoot that party ball from the other room. I just, I just want to try something. Okay, I guess not. Tuh. I just had to try something. Because, like, that party ball is really... really suspicious. I'm almost wondering if that second segment is, like, intentionally impossible and I'm supposed to actually... hit that party ball somehow. I mean, I can go this way. Well, no, I can't. Okay, that's that's bugging me. Nevertheless, I'm gonna see if I can conquer this second segment here. Although I truly think that something's fishy here. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it the real way. I think I'm too far behind. Ah. 
didn't jump properly there. That party ball is just like staring me in the face, like... You have no idea what to do. Well, in fact, I kind of don't. It's a little bit of a mystery. I think chances are it really is a decoy. You just have to be really super fast here, but we'll see. And uh, go, go, go! Oh, yes! Checkpoint, please. Uh, and there's the end. Whew! Okay, I would have actually gone for a little bit more, like another segment after that. But, um, I guess I'm glad to end it there. Okay. Very creative, and a good amount of difficulty. Thumbs up, Agastya. That was actually a really good level, and I kind of like stuff like that. So, creative, and it actually matches the name of the stage. So, that's a nice one, actually. Like, levels like that are fun, because... Okay, you don't have to worry about... You don't have to worry about a boss, but you gotta be quick on your feet, and you have to... You have to basically... Okay, that one is more about skill than... Skill than being creative. It's like a straightforward what to do. You just had to be really super fast. So, I like that. It kind of tests your skills and make, makes you hone in on your um, abilities as a player. So, that was good. I think I'll do one more. Oh, we got another tower. The ultimate tower. So, we go from the beam tower to the ultimate tower by King Vrax. Okay. Three out of ten people approve. Alrighty then, let's give it a shot. And we get to fight Metal Man at the end. I think it's been a while since I fought Metal Man. At least in one of these... One of these settings. Okay, well... Huh, okay, free tank. Sure, why not? So I got top spin and magnet missile, and you can slide and charge. Okay, let's go. Standard run of the mill enemies. Okay, got some electric traps here. Yeah, don't zap me. Ah, damn it. Oh well. Ooh. Almost choked it there. Alright, so let's see which ladder is the right one. Okay, I guess I could use that. Guess I could use that, thank you very much. Well, that sucks. All right. Take him out. And keep... Oh. Oh, there better not be a spike on, like, one of these. Okay. <laughs> okay, this... Oh, I'm, in, I'm underwater now. What? Interesting. Okay. Don't really want to jump, but I may have... To. Oh, okay. Damn it. Um, I, I know what to do. If I use the top spin, I'll be kind of, like, invincible as I jump. Okay. Oh, Unless I land on top of one of them and get to it, and then get a uh, jump boost. I'll freely admit I did not see that coming, but okay, whatever. Not so bad so far. I gotta say, I do like Flash Man's theme as well. It's one of my favorite ones from Mega Man 2, and it has like a kind of pretty distinct flavor to it. Okay, this is not uh, not going as well as I would have hoped, but okay, that was a total mess. Now I really wish I had that energy up there. Oh, hey, it came back. That's good. Although I think I'm gonna take out that blade enemy and him. Okay, I'll also, I'll take the extra energy too. Thank you very much. I think it's this one here. All right, so am I gonna just bypass all of these? then just go up that way. Oh, okay, that was nice. So I can go up or down. Okay, I'll... I'll go up and get the checkpoint. Yes, please. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Looks like the way forward is to the right. And let's go. Oh, looks like this is the boss. Okay, not a long level. Let's see if we can take a Metal Man... With platforms and okay, yeah, he he gets pretty pretty well shredded by the night of missile. Jeez, I don't even. Okay, that was pretty simple. Tuh, didn't even have to get the energy in the center because the magnet missile like goes up or down in this case up. 
Like, you don't even have to jump and be on the same level as him. You just have to fire it. And then heads right to right to him and shreds his ass. Okay, but still, pretty good. Okay. I'll give it a thumbs up, too. Now, it's just, unfortunately, it's the second best tower that I've played in this video, but it was still, it was still pretty good. I don't know if I call it ultimate, though. It's pretty short. Now, ultimate tower, I would have thought, would be like maybe two or three times as long as that, but who am I to critique it? Hey, take your thumbs up. Okay, you know what? That's a good, um, I think that's a good set of levels for this video here, so I'll just, uh, I'll just stop it right now, so. Stay tuned for some more levels, and I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the other project I'm doing as well. And, um, yeah, in a couple, in a couple days' time, I will be uploading some more Mega, Ma Mega Maker, uh, blind random levels for you guys to enjoy. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any comments, leave them for me. I'd be happy to see them. And if you like it even more than that, give me a like and possibly a subscribe. But anyway, that's it. This is Lieutenant Obvious signing out. One time I'll make it the captain. Later.